I've got some awkward grain and I've been working with a few boards like this and I wanted to show you how I resolve the issue. I've got lines on there now that I've just put on that tell me where the twist is and what line I should work to. So on this edge here, I might take a plane and put a bevel on down to the line that I've put on. Just, and I'm beveling the edge down to that pencil line that I put on, which I established the exact point of twist. I've got the same here, another line. So I just bevel again into that line. And those lines are actually non-twisted, but the main board is still undulating, twisted, whatever. And I've got to work these fibers, but this particular wood is very awkward grained. It's got all kinds of figuring in it. And I've had several boards like this in my lifetime, 57 years of working with wood. So I'm going down to the bevel. That line goes to the bevel, should I say? So I've got a, a line. I've got a bevel. Now then, I've got to plane this. Watch this. This is not the traditional way of planing wood. This grain is very awkward. If I plane it in one direction this way, it's going to tear on the other side. It'll be smooth on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my finger. This is high here. And I can show you probably with a straight edge somewhere in there. I've got hollow there, hollow there. So we've got twists to get out and things like that. I may not do all the board, but I'm going to show you a better way of planing. I hit a high spot, a high spot, which means I've got a hollow right in the very middle. Underneath the corner of my plane, I've got a, high sp uh, a low spot in there. So watch this. So now, this is perfectly straight. There's no hollow in there, but I still have to go down to my lines to get the remaining wood level. Now I've got too much, I've too much set, but see, I'm planing across the grain and it's perfectly smooth. And this is just a plain Jane number, Stan, uh, number five and a half Stanley. It could be done with a number four, four and a half. And I go along here. Can you see what's happening? I'm hitting the high spot all the way through. This is giving me lots of information as I work across my board. Here, I could possibly try with the grain. Yeah, that's planing okay. This side is definitely not planing okay. Back to across the grain. So I work across the grain, working on those surfaces. This is getting it down rapidly. I think this is pretty close. You've got to watch this outside edge because if you grab it with the blade, there's no support on the other side. It'll fracture and break off. But you can work from both faces using this method. And I have very, very minimal tear out. I just go across the grain. It's almost smooth enough for the final pass with a scraper. I got too much set on my plane, back it off a little bit. And that's how I would work that awkward grain to get it out, out to twist and, and get my wood straight. I just keep going now to till I've got down to my line. It's a perfect way of planing something that will not plane with the grain with a single plane. <laughs> <laughs>